What's going on, y'all? Today's video is going to be about our Harvest Host Stay at John Schneider's place. It's kind of a short video and I was debating what else I could put with it because I like to make the videos about 10 minutes long. And I discovered that we had actually recorded the entire incident of smashing the back window on the ram. Tanya was holding the 360 camera the whole time. It was like she'd started recording and once it happened she forgot to stop. She was just walking around holding the camera. It's good we can laugh about it now, uh, looking back at the situation. So we're gonna start there. We'll show you the actual, uh, when the window broke, and then we'll uh, follow the highways to some music as we head over to John Schneider Studios, our Harvest Host Day. Um, you're fine. You're good. Just keep coming. Oh. I just broke the back window. You didn't tell me what to look for. Okay. Yeah, it's it's pressed into it. This is probably really painful for you more experienced truck drivers that handle pulling trailers all the time. I'm a novice at this point. I'm lacking a lot of experience and doing the best that I can. This is one of the reasons I would say never pull your RV into a Dollar General parking lot because you're going to wind up in a similar situation like this, probably with even less base. Okay, stop. So, yeah. I, I, what, am I supposed to apologize? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the best I can. For me, this is really, for the people that are new at this, that really need a little bit of extra help, I hope that they can learn from this. And if there is anybody out there that's experienced with this, put down in the comments what things you might have done differently to not only help me, but the other people that are new to this, that are looking to this to learn, uh -huh. so they can avoid the same mistakes that I made. Barely making any movement. So, listen. What I think you need to do is somehow, if you can straighten back out and then just back up, because you're this this pole right here. If that wasn't in the way, you'd, you'd be okay. saying if there's any kind of a hill it's gonna be a problem and there was I didn't, just enough I of an angle even looking at that i didn't know i didn't even realize it need that crash wrap driving is probably going to get worse. You need to go somewhere each get that crash wrap. The problem something. is we got to get where we got to get. If you when touch we it, get. you get cut I know, bad. I know. But we got to get where we need to be. We do, but don't be touching it and getting cut. Alright, let's go.
You're doing good. We spent the night last night at John Snyder Studios. Well, that's where I am right now. Right now. I'm actually filming this at the appropriate time. This place is huge. This is John Snyder's personal property with a collection of a lot of his personal things like the bird with a zero one in orange because of the Dukes of Hazard. But they are in Harvest Hosts, John Snyder Studios. They have it says 13 total campsites. I haven't tried to totally add all of them up. I think if you boondock, it, it's free. Of course, with the Harvest Host, you want to pay some money to patronize them in some kind of way, like buy something. Uh, or it's supposedly if you hook up 50 amp, 50 amp, 30 amp, use one of these nice spots, they ask that you pay $40. It's currently seven-ish in the morning, and uh, the lady that kind of manages the property doesn't come until nine and I don't know yet where to find her. I've been told, but uh, this place is huge. I, I, there's probably 40 buildings on this property. Right now, there are a bunch of uh, combat veterans that are here for the weekend. John Snyder let them use the property for a get together for Veterans Day weekend. So they're gathering over there, getting ready for whatever events they've got going on. And we got here for something close to five. Uh, it's November and the uh, sun goes down pretty early. So it got pretty dark. I took Tanya's e-bike and just kind of zipped around the property real quick. Had to go, you know, get a shot by the General Lee, the, the famous car, the Dodge Charger, up by the very front race back here it, it was getting pretty dark and and there's a lot of swamps they have set apart swamps with roads right through the middle of them and i was kind of a little bit worried about <laughs> alligators <laughs> i'd say that's a genuine concern here but they've got uh there is a bathhouse it is sufficient it works uh, we've seen some luxury showers it is not luxury it is sufficient I could go in there and take a shower and get clean. That's all I really needed, especially on these long travel days. I don't really care about taking a long, luxurious shower. I just want to get clean so I can get a good night's rest. But yeah, we are making a mad dash from Florida to Texas because we had gone to the Team Journey huddle at Camp Margaritaville, which was during the time we should have already been at Jellystone at Canyon Lake, Texas. We're in the process of making our mad dash back to Texas to be where we're supposed to be. And let's just say that when your back window hits the front of your fifth wheel, sounds like a gunshot. Now, thankfully the girls are okay. We've got the mega cab. So any of the glass that came in, which it did, came in behind their seat and not on them. So now we get to drive, you know, 800 and some miles with plastic back here because Safe Light Auto Glass couldn't get us in anywhere until Wednesday. Yeah, one week later. So we have an appointment in Texas at Safe Light Auto Glass, but we've got to get there. Thankfully, this plastic's working well. This is a plastic sheeting that Tanya has to protect tables from when she's doing her resin pours and paint pours, things like that. And then it's just blue painter's tape, which is good for preventing damage to uh, painted walls or whatever when you pull them off. So it looks like it's letting a little bit of moisture through, but it's not getting inside. It's just kind of sitting on the outside there. So it'll do, it'll get us there. Tanya was outside after our previous incident where we tore the back wall off the RV. Tanya was very focused on watching the back of the RV as I'm doing this U-turn. And I'm telling her, I'm concerned about the middle. And then once I heard the pop, I got out and she, she didn't even know. She didn't even hear it apparently. And I told her, I says, oh, it's too late. It already happened. So she was a bit distraught over that because she felt like she failed because she wasn't looking in the right spot. I'm, I'm not upset at all. I felt like that was more my responsibility in the truck cab to better understand what's going on in there. So I'm not mad at Tanya. I love that woman. We raced over here. Another 
Apparently, I think it's just a harvest host thing. They want you to arrive before five o'clock. So we pulled in here about 4.10, I think. So we made it on time. But I definitely don't like the long distance dashes and having to be somewhere before five because that makes the drive more stressful. And normally for us, we're more about the journey more so than the destination. I mean, sure, the destination's still important, but we like to enjoy our travel days. We like to stop and we're like, hey, this rest area's got a giant spaceship sitting outside of it, or this one's got a blue angel. It's like, well, we, we don't have time. We have to push on. And that's just not very fun for us. Not really our style. I'd rather, I think I would rather pull into an RV park that's well lit up, that I can easily see a pull through spot on these hard pushes to make it cross country. But I don't want to take that away from this place, John Snyder Studios. This is really cool. I would treat John Snyder Studios as a destination more so than a stopover for a long cross country push. So I may in the future actually come back here, maybe see if I could do like two nights and really enjoy and take in this property. At any rate, we are ready to push on and we're gonna get back into Texas today. Not gonna make it to our destination, We've got about 400 miles to go today. We're gonna to go to the Thousand Trails Colorado River Campground. This will be our first day of many at Thousand Trails. We'll see how I feel about it. Life happens, don't let it stop you. Not even when you bust out a window. Don't let it stop you. Keep enjoying life. Stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs>